Marine 612 now. I'm here with uh, Senator Bill Cassidy. Senator, how are you doing this morning? Hey, good. Good. Well, thanks for coming in. Uh, first, you know, you're not always in the Twin Cities. Tell everybody why you came into town today. Yeah, so we have a lot of things going on today. We're mm -hmm. speaking to the West Monroe Chamber, uh, and then we are uh, speaking to some home builders this morning. But partly, we just try and go around the state on a regular basis. Yeah. I am hired, if you will, to represent this state. Mm -hmm. And the way I represent is speaking to people, finding out what concerns them, and take those concerns to Washington, D.C. So this is just what we do on a regular basis. Well, we appreciate that. One of the big ways you really represented the people of Louisiana was you really went to bat for the uh, National Flood Insurance Program, made sure it got renewed. It did get renewed for four months. Uh, tell everybody why that's so important to the people in Louisiana. Well, two things we've done on flooding. One, for the great flood of 2016, which were in mm -hmm. North and South Louisiana, have done a variety of things. One, to help folks get money if they were not completely compensated for their loss, and secondly, to try and get money for reconstructing flood control structures. Then on the National Flood Insurance Program, my gosh, we in Louisiana need to have our yeah. flood insurance. Uh, that was going to lapse. There were some senators objecting to it. I said, come on, man. Mm -hmm. There's people closing on their home next week. Yeah. We're going to let it lapse. They can't close on their home, renewing their insurance. You won't let them renew. We will work on reforms, but let's go ahead and allow this program to go forward. They Absolutely. said, okay, we're able to keep it in place. Major thing to happen in the intermediate time. And another thing uh, you're really pushing for Louisiana, you did, you passed some legislature, you helped pass some legislature, make sure that uh, education won't get any cuts in funding, and it kind of promotes, I think, coding in students. Is that right? Yeah, a couple different things in education. Mm -hmm. One, there's a federal grant program. Louisiana was going to be cut by 20%. Okay. These are the grants that treat, teach people trades. You want to go learn to be a welder, for example, great demand, and we're going to cut the money for that? Mm -hmm. So we're able to preserve that funding, folks getting those better jobs with better wages. Secondly, we have to prepare for the next generation jobs. Um, that's going to be a lot of computers. Uh, one thing we're trying to encourage, can you imagine if instead of having to take French in high school, yeah. and no one ever speaks French when they're my age, yeah. they can take computer coding. Yeah. And that would be their foreign language requirement. Absolutely. That way that child who learns how to code has a language they can use their whole life, getting better jobs along the way. One of the things we're trying to do to better prepare our workforce for better jobs. Yeah. I took French in high school. Don't remember any of it. Was it... Laissez les bon temps rouler, is that? Well, you're like my That's, wife. I, I, okay. I say, baby, do you speak French? She goes, I'm poor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this is about it's all I got. Poor. Coding, I, I wish I could have taken coding <laughs> in high school. Uh, kind of looking nationally now, though. You were able to meet recently with the uh, Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh. Uh, tell me what you took away from that meeting with him. How do you feel about his nomination? Brett Kavanaugh is a good man mm -hmm. who's very smart but doesn't wear it on his sleeves. Uh, he went to a high school, and when he spoke in the East Room, the president invited me to join. He said, I, the, the, model, the motto of our high school was meant for others. Mm -hmm. He lives his life as if meant for others. And again, very smart, knows the context of conservative who's going to stick to the Constitution. I think he will get approved, and he will be a great justice. All right. Well, so clearly he's got your backing there. And uh, before we get you out of here, Senator Cassidy, uh, you were down in New Orleans yesterday. Appreciate you getting up here. Uh, late last night to do uh -huh. this interview with us this morning. Uh, you were with the uh, Secretary of Transportation, though. Some major grants were just announced down there. Tell yeah. us about that. Elaine Child, she was there to announce a total of, four, of well, a check for $45 million. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's nice to hold that check. Yeah, right. Uh, but a total funding of $85 million for a road project here in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. We want that good relationship with the Secretary of Transportation. We have lots of pent-up needs when it comes to transportation infrastructure. Yep. So um, good to be there with her, good to be here this morning, but we want that relationship to continue to further help Louisiana. Absolutely. Well, again, Senator Cassidy, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Connor. We always appreciate it. Always good to see you.